Finally tonight, for a lucky few, the wait is over. Star Wars The Force Awakens is premiering tonight in Hollywood. It was a long time ago, way back in 1977, when the original became a force in popular culture. Now, all these years later, as our Joe Fryer reports, the new sequel is the most widely anticipated movie of the year. In a galaxy far, far away, better known as Hollywood, Oh, no. Star Wars lovers are already lining up outside the famous TCL Chinese Theater to see the next installment. It's really just like any family reunion, you know, you, you make time for it, you can't miss it. When it's all said and done and the movie premieres, some of these fans will have spent 12 days in line. Caroline Ritter and Andrew Porters traveled from Australia. and Before seeing the movie Thursday, they'll get married right here. So what's more important? Technically the wedding, but the movie is... Set about 30 years after Return of the Jedi, The Force Awakens will introduce a new crop of characters and mark the return of Princess Leia, now a general, and Han Solo. We're home. The movie is expected to earn between $1.5 and $2 billion worldwide, maybe more. Incredible numbers that could be record-breaking and could be in the top three movies of all time. The star-studded world premiere takes place tonight in Hollywood, but when the original movie premiered in 1977, there was little fanfare. They were completely surprised when, next thing you know, we have people wrapped around the block. Somewhere in that horde of moviegoers, three-year-old Brendan Thibodeau, 38 years later, he's back in line at the Chinese theater. I can't wait to see it opening night. I can't wait. It's, oh, it's going to be amazing. The Force is strong. For generations old and new, it's clear the Force is still with us. Joe Fryer, NBC News, Hollywood.